This is a voice from your past. Let's make up for lost time, okay? Whoa, T. Yeah, great. Just call me if you need to change plans or anything. Can't wait. Good. I've been monitoring your movements. I can be there soon. Of course. What else would you drive? How about this? Just like old times. So, well, this is fun. Hey, it's good seeing you again, man. Is it? Is it really? Yeah, it really is. I thought you were... <laughs> well, I was gonna say dead, but that wouldn't be funny, would it? What do you think? I think it wouldn't be funny. But listen, buddy. You're, you've always been so important to me. Mmm, I can tell. But I had a family. I had to get out. You gotta understand, everything went crazy, and then... Well, after you ran into the woods while I was lying hurt, I guess I heard that you'd been killed. Sure. Hey, it's true, I swear. Otherwise, you know what, whatever. Let's just make up for lost time. Whatever you say. My God, Mikey, Los Santos has really done a number on you. Oh, please, please, can you stop being so judgmental about everything? You hate me, you hate Los Santos, hell, you hate everything. You think you're better than everyone. No. No, it's you who thinks you're better than everyone. Better than me, better than normal people, all your high-class problems. You're the judgmental one, sugar. Not me. Yeah, whatever you say, pal. Fuck you, I'm drunk and you're a dick. No. Fuck you. I'm drunk and you are definitely, definitely a dick. <laughs> oh. Nice. You call your best friend a dick. You started it. No, uh, you started it. You backstabbing turd. You started everything. You think you got the memo? You're a backstabber and you deserve to die. Oh, gee, thanks, T. That's really, really nice of you. Screw you, are. Just stop whining. No one likes a whiner. Wow. Man, I, I'm glad to see you again. I mean, this is great. You're saying that, but I'm detecting a, I don't know, tension. Yeah, no, no, that's not you. It's me. I hold it in my shoulders. Oh, really? You need a massage? <laughs> no, no, uh, thanks. I'm, uh, you know, the shoulders are a symptom of a bigger problem. I'm working on it with my therapist. Grown-up kids, grown-up marriage. It's hard. Oh, 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 yeah, I bet. How about this, huh? Just like old times. You know, I wish I'd have gone and found you. Do you? Yeah, uh, yeah, for sure, certainly. If I'd have known you were alive, and it'd be like this, <laughs> absolutely, in a heartbeat. So, how'd you think it would be? I mean, when you decided not to look, how were you thinking it would be? I'm, I'm sorry, man. I ain't communicating it right. I, I thought you were dead. This is just all so overwhelming, man. We got a second chance at this, you know? I'm getting a little emotional, actually. I mean, who gets second chances, huh? Crocodile tears. Yeah, you, uh... You really gotta get out of your funk, Michael. I like my funk, Trevor. I'm perfectly comfortable in this funk of mine. Ah, what happened, man? You're being so, so complacent. You're wasting yourself. Oh, I know. I should be out getting messed up. That's wasting yourself too, bro. Only doing it publicly. I'm happy to waste myself in the privacy of my own TV room. Thank you. Look up! Everyone, I'm with a psychopath! Oh, he's always with a psychopath, because he is one. Couple of drunk psychos coming through. Fuck you, actually. <laughs> don't you wish? No, I don't wish. Fuck you, because you didn't mean it like a joke when you first started. You were warning people about me like a... Some, some, you know, some 
Some, some, you know, psycho? Yeah, they should be warned. Get out of his way. I tell you what, Mikey, I can tell why you like Vinewood so much. <laughs> oh, I know. It's fantastic, isn't it? I mean, I don't know. I'm just sort of happy here, even when I'm also really depressed. No, sugar tits. You like it because it's just like you. Plastic and fake. The world champion of phoniness has come to the world capital of fakeness. And what a surprise! You fit right in. <laughs> sure. Whatever you say, T. I'm a fake, you're real. That's cool. Oh, don't get all passive on me, Cupcake. No one likes being called out on their bullshit. But it's true. <laughs> of course it is. Whatever you say. Whatever you say. I tell you what, Mikey. My life now is one long orgy of easy sex, strong meth, and good times with good people, but I miss the old days. Oh, you do, do you? What? Us? Always broke? On the run? Crazy shit? The place always covered in snow? You miss that crap? Yeah, sure. I miss my innocence. My <laughs> innocence? You? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I miss not knowing the people you like most turn out to be snakes. Oh, man, am I... Oh, man, I can feel my liver melting. Oh, it's like your spine. <laughs> like your soul, like your personality. Ah, give me a break, will ya? Why are you such a dick to me? We both... No why. Well, fine. Then don't get drunk with me. Huh? This isn't fun. Get it drunk. Then you call me a turd. Sorry, man. I love you. I love you. I, lo I love. I love you. It's me. I hate. I'm not a nice man. I need help. I hate myself. It's okay, Trevor. You. You're not that bad. I guess. Relax. Oh, shit, I'm drunk. All right, man, here we go. Tough love time. I'll take it tough. I'll take it sissy. I'll take it any way you're giving it. When are you gonna get it together? Ah, huh, bro? Most guys, as they get older, they pull their foot off the gas. You always did like to judge people. I ain't judging. I'm trying to help. Help? With what? You think I need help because somehow my lifestyle is worse than everyone else's? <laughs> oh, the speed, the horniness, the killings. You kill and you satisfy your urges. Only you think you're above everything. Tough love time. Fine. Fine. You think what you like. But you know I care. And you know I tried. Bullshit. You want me to lose my edge. What, you gonna give me some anti-psychotics now? Dull, the sharpest weapon I got. Ask me what happened to the last one that tried. <laughs> oh, man. All right. How about that traffic, huh? Ah, oh, this city. I will never take my foot off the gas. I'm putting it down. I'm crashing into a wall. Let's be honest, T. The old days were shit. Come on, they were the best days of your life, and you know it. Yeah. Living out of motels, getting shot at? Nah, nah, nah. They were shit. Ah, you were cool, Em. I guess you forgot how that feels. I think I might have had one too many. <sighs> one too many? There's no such thing. Yeah, there is. And I've had it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Such a pussy, you're just saying that to get rid of me. No, seriously, bro, I'm out. I'm like right on the line. You know what you need? Some glass. It's even it'll get through this, pal. Level you out. Fuck you. I ain't doing that shit. Who the fuck you think I am? Some kid you can bully? I'm too drunk. I'm feeling like shit. And you're trying to dope me? Yeah, this yeah. 
after it? I've been doped enough. Oh, oh, hey. You don't have to get pissy, bro. Just, uh, just trying to help. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I know. I'm just... Look, man. I love you, man. I do. It's just... I'm in serious hate with myself right now. That's fair enough. You're uniquely hateable. You know something I just realized about you, buddy boy? You always liked fakeness. So you keep telling me. And, you know something else? I get the feeling I'm about to. Uh-huh. That's why you married a stripper. You like people who do things for money. No offense. I mean, to you or the lovely Amanda. Oh, none taken. You just insulted me and my wife. Why would I take offense? You just keep telling it how it is. Oh, I intend to, Cupcake. I intend to. I'm your last hope. Of course you are. I want to be just like you, Trevor. Real. A sweaty, dirty, psychotic, hypocritical, great big ball of edible reality. If I knew what those words meant, Mr. Therapy, I'd rip your throat out. I tell you what, Mikey, America needs us right now. Really? America needs a couple of middle-aged bank robbers running amok? Really? How'd you figure that out? Place is falling apart. They can't make good movies. They can't fight modern wars. They can't pass good laws. Everyone hates each other with a passion, but thanks to people like you and me, at least the country still sets standards in robbery. How about this, bro? How about it? How about get it together, bro? Why, huh? What's that even mean, together? This is together. I think it, I say it, I express myself my actual feelings. You don't. You're so repressed. Uh, there's a middle ground between being a raving, impulsive lunatic and a total enigma. And you are nowhere near it. You're repressed. I know what's going on in there, in your chest. <laughs> yeah, you know what's happening in my chest, because you rip so many dudes open. You're crying inside, baby. <laughs> You're crying, but you bury it and walk around all lonely and aloof and angry. I like my own company. So what? If I was as sad as you are, I'd let it out. I would. I'd cry all day and night till I ran out of tears. Embrace it. You're a goth. Or what do they call them now? Emo. You're one of them, only you're bottling it up. I'm scared what'll happen when it all comes out. Oh, I'll make sure you're around to find out. Don't worry. Oh, but I do worry. I worry, because I care. This town is full of crazy people, bro. I know. It's a miracle you took so long to get here. Ha, <laughs> not like good crazy. Kill people and eat them crazy. I mean, like, I don't understand these people at all crazy. Oh, you mean sane. If being void of anything real and substantial and only caring about the meaningless surface of things is sane, then yes, that. <laughs> I gotta tell you, you're really rocking that outfit, bro. Where you get it? Shoo! I was wondering about something there, sugar tits. Oh, I bet you were. By the way, can you stop calling me that? Oh, sorry. Thank you. No, 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 sorry, but I can't stop. It's a compulsion. I love calling you sugar tits because you're fat like a tit and bad for people like sugar. Oh, so then I should call you acid cock or vinegar turd. Oh, ho, ho. well, you can call me whatever you like. Anyway, I realized you hate me. <laughs> do I? Oh, yes, you do. You hate me because I'm not tied down. I'm free, and you're shacked up with an ex-pro. I'm still living, and you're slowly dying. Wow, that's really beautiful and profound, like you read it in a fucking fortune cookie. Firstly, I don't hate you. Although, secondly, I am, like every other sentient creature on this earth, frightened of you because you're nuts. And thirdly, if you ever 
ever call my wife a pro again, I will rip your fucking head off! Comprende? <laughs> Touched a nerve, I see. You know, Mikey, I miss the Midwest. I do. I miss it. You do? Why? Because it's real. Real weather, real people. Here, everyone's fake. They smile and they hate you and themselves. Everyone acts happy and is troubled. It's full of neurotic hoods and robbers with anxiety. Hoods should be lunatics, not self-indulgent turds. So, what shrieking sugar tits, apart from your sugar tits? Oh, man, Trevor, I figured it out. I know why you hate me. One, I don't hate you. Two, I've got plenty of completely legitimate reasons to hate you. I don't need some obscure, clever reason you gotta figure out. Ah, uh, all right, maybe, but I know the real reason. You hate me because I'm not as crazy as you. Ow, oh, please! Come on, you couldn't handle being as crazy as me. It takes commitment and stamina and a force of will that is entirely alien to you. No, 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 no. I mean, you think you need to be crazy to play the game. But I take down scores like you. I handle myself. I do what's got to be done, just without all the fruity stuff. And you, you hate it. That I can get away with it, that I can be normal. Oh! Uh, <laughs> the only reason you get away with it is because you're in denial. You go to sleep at night convinced you're a good guy when, uh, <laughs> plainly you're not. Lies and denial or crazy consistency. I pity you for your choice. I don't hate you for it. Haha, <laughs> you're the one in denial. You wish you could be normal. You do. So much I can taste it. Mmm, yeah, well, keep this up and you'll taste your lower bowel. You're a horrible person, T. Wake up! So are you. Well, yeah, but I hate you, man. The world would be better off without you. Oh, now, that's nice. Well, you know, same thing with me, though, man. I hate you almost as much as I hate myself. You know I've been telling you to drop the lies and the denial? Mm, don't. You're kind of insufferable without that guard up. Well, T? Well, what, sugar tits? Well, we got there. In the end, I mean. I mean, we moved on. Have we? I hope so. Haven't we? Mm, I guess. I mean, I fucked you over, and that's why I want to apologize. And I also want to give you my share of the money we boosted in this last score. You do? Sure. I don't really need it. I want you to be happy. Well, I don't I don't need it either. And I don't want it. It was never about the money, Michael. I know it wasn't. It was... I was in a tough situation, and I fucked up, and I apologize. Okay. I accept your apology. Thank you. Damn! Oh! We did it, T! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I know. Biggest score in American history. You and me and the kid and the creep. Incredible. <laughs> wow! The big one! We did it! Uh, the big one! We're not two-bit hoods anymore. We're... Oh, we're... We did it! We're back, hey, baby! <laughs> Mike and Trevor. Out of the world! T, come on. Trevor Phillips and Michael the Together again. Yeah, we're together at this moment. But, you know, it's not... I know, all right? Shit, you're such a downer. I don't even feel drunk anymore. Well, you are still drunk. So cheer up! Ah, uh, you ruined it. So, Mike, I should probably say... What? Well, maybe I shouldn't have reacted the way I did. I mean, let's be honest, Brad was a dick and things were getting out of control. You had the kids and you'd already missed so much of their growing up. I could feel like I was losing you, you know, so I pushed you harder. I thought that, that was how to keep you in the game and I didn't want to lose you. I 
I've said that already, haven't I? Well, it was gonna blow up, man. We all knew it was. I guess, I guess I'm happy you made it out alive. And with enough money to make sure your kids became total, complete nightmares. Hey. I mean, if you'd taken less, you know, a couple million, they'd only be dicks. But with your savings, you were able to truly, completely ruin them. Selfish, soft, without any skill. <laughs> they got it all. You provided for their future. Ha <laughs> ha. That's funny. Because it's true. It's also kind of sad. Hey, bro, they're sweet. Kinda. Brad was a dick, wasn't he? Oh yeah, he was. Bless him. This is the end of the road, Mikey. Thanks, T. Let's do it again soon. <laughs>